changing your thinking and recovery. You definitely don't want to miss this one. Let's talk about it. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Welcome, fam. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Carlton, better known as Big C, back with another banger. Y'all know what I'm about. I'm about helping addicts, crack addicts, any addict come out of that bondage. So without further ado, let's jump right off into this. Hey, I want to tell you guys one of the most important things that we got to know in recovery our thinking when we can master this we can master our lives but if our thinking controls us that's not good so i want to give you guys three things today that i know that's helped me and i believe is going to help you because i want you guys to just think about this from the time we open our eyes in the morning to the times we go to sleep. How much thinking have we done in the day? Now think about that, really. Take time and think about it. From the time we open our eyes, we go through the whole day, to the time we go to sleep. How many thoughts come in that we process? How much thinking goes on in that time frame? We even, we even think while we're sleeping so think about in a week's time how much thoughts how much thinking we've done think about in a month's time how much thinking we've done think about in a year's time how much thinking we have done what i got from this we've done a lot of thinking so it goes without doubt to know Thinking is a key part of our everyday life. We think more than we eat. Thinking, now that I think about it, <laughs> now that I think about it, it's one of the most important things we do. So, guys, feel where I'm going with this. So, if, if all this thinking we're doing and consumed by don't we think it has a major impact on our life think about it all this thinking we're doing day and night year after year month after month week after week we got to know our thinking drives where we're going in life okay guys number one we got to make a choice. See, guys, what we got to understand is we can't control life, situations, and circumstances that come our way. But the one thing that we can control is how we react and respond. And the way we react and respond is in direct correlation to how we're thinking. So what I'm saying here is life is going to show up, but it's how we think through these things that helps us to navigate. And when we don't know right thinking, we do wrong things. When we don't know right thinking, we make wrong decisions. So we have to know at some point in our life, we gotta get to the point where we realize I've got to get this under wraps because if I can get this under wraps, my life would be a lot easier because I'm not controlled by situations and circumstances that allow my weak mind, my weak thoughts to overtake me. When I get when I get control of this, whatever life throws at me, because I'm in control of my thinking, I can become victorious in a lot of areas of my life. One of the most important things we can do in a, in recovery, guys, and for the rest of our lives is get the mastery of our mind. The Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So what's that saying? That's saying my life is the sum of how I think. And if my life is crappy, <laughs> 
then my thinking is probably crack crappy. But if my life is blessed, if my life is purposeful, if my life is successful, then I've probably got purposeful thinking, successful thinking. I've got thinking that produces quality of life that I desire. And so guys, we can't play this short. We got to know how powerful this thing is. This thing will take you wherever we, you allow it. One of the most powerful things that we can do is master this. We get this, we can go anywhere in life we want to. We can handle anything that comes our way, but we have to make a choice to master this. And it's nothing that's gonna come overnight, but we're gonna talk about what we can do daily to master this. Guys, this is the key to overcoming obstacles, overcoming addictions, overcoming sin in our life. This right here, and we gonna get this. Okay guys, number two, we have to take every thought captive. What does that mean? First of all, we gotta know when negative thoughts are coming, Guys, at this point, we know negative thoughts. We know thoughts that are not good for us. And at the first sign of our thinking, this is why it's so important. We've got to even be thinking about what we're thinking about. And we, when we notice negativity, when we notice negative thoughts, when we notice toxic thoughts, when we notice thoughts that go contrary to God's word to where we're trying to go in life. When we realize that it's so important that we catch these thoughts. And in, in, in the beginning, it's a little weird because you're not so we're not so used to thinking about what we're thinking about. But guys, we got to do this. We got to do this. So, but what, what, what we want to do is when we notice thoughts come in and this ties into step three and we're gonna i'm gonna show you what to do once you realize the negative thoughts are coming but this number two is about identifying and know when they're coming we got to know when our thinking is off and it could be so subtle that we find ourselves why am i depressed or why am i angry why am i so upset and then we got to think what am i thinking how am i thinking because it's tied to the way we think. And that's why it's so important, guys. We got to bring these thoughts. We got to bring them into captivity. We got to take them captive. We can't just let thoughts come in and not do nothing about it. That's like letting people in your house and don't care. Just open the windows and doors every day, all day, all through the night. And think that something ain't getting ready to go wrong in that house eventually. That's the way our, our mind is. We can't let these thoughts come in. Yeah, we have some good thoughts and we have some bad thoughts. And what we want to focus on, we don't want room for bad thoughts because bad thoughts are cancerous. One bad thought can take your life in a total different direction. And it don't have to be right then and immediately. One bad thought will lead to two bad thoughts to three bad thoughts. And before you know it, our mind is consumed with bad thoughts. But guys, we gotta be conscious. We gotta be thinking about what we're thinking about. And in the beginning, this is be weird. It'd be a little awkward. We'll miss it here and there. But we wanna get to the point to where it's second nature. Hey, I don't supposed to think like this, uh-uh. Because, and then we're gonna go into number three and that's gonna show us what to do when we realize I got negative thoughts and we're going to take that thought, we ain't going to just let it do what it do. We're going to take control of that thought and we're going to kick his butt out of there because it don't belong there. Okay, guys, step number three, we have to replace the toxic negative thoughts with God's thoughts. We have to take 
negative and toxic thoughts and replace them with God's thoughts. Because at the end of the day, this is not up for debate. God created us and he has given us a mind. He's given us the mind of Christ for those who are in Christ. Now I'm kind of getting off into a whole nother video. But guys, understand this. We said we made, number one, we make a choice to understand and know I can do something about the way I'm thinking. Because if I don't, my thinking, my negative thinking will keep producing negativity in my life. Number two, we be conscious of how we're thinking and we and when we know we've got negative or toxic thoughts coming into our mind, we have to take those thoughts captive. And once we do that, step three says we have to replace those thoughts with God's thoughts. Because understand, if we don't have God's thoughts and we call ourselves replacing those thoughts, negative thoughts, what are we replacing them with? You see what I'm saying here? So we're taking in a negative thought that comes in and we're going to flip the script on it and kick it out of there. Example. You're having problems with your spouse. You guys may be arguing, been arguing for a week and just maybe you're looking at things different. Your thinking is, is, is kind of getting toxic. But what you do is instead of allowing that negativity to destroy your marriage, that negative thinking, begin to take every negative thought and turn it around to a positive. Begin to think, and you got to know God's word. That's why it's so important, guys, that we 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 can't we we got to get to the point where we got enough of God's word in our mind that we because we we're not always stuck and don't know what God says about a situation. But that's a process, and we get there little by little. But that's why I'm kind of getting off here. But this is important for me to tell you. The more of God's word that we have in us, the quicker and easier when a thought comes, that word will come up, turn it around, turn that negative thought around into a positive and kick it out of there. But when we don't have substance of God's word, negative thoughts come. And what do we do now in the beginning? We may not have a whole lot of, of God's word. So but it's a process. So we have to begin to, to, to understand, well, how does God think about this? And maybe you got, and in the beginning, maybe you'll have to go and find out, well, what does God's word say about loving your spouse? What does God's word say about this? Because the way we do this is when negative thoughts come in, we take a positive thought of God's word and we, we use that thought to kick that negativity out of there. And guys, after a while, it becomes easier and easier because when a thought comes, we'll be so conscious to the fact that even when a negative thought comes, we'll be like, oh, no. And we'll, 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 we'll immediately quote a scripture and that thought will go. And we may have to do that three or four times a day sometimes with certain thoughts. But the purpose of this video is to let you guys know. And this is something I haven't arrived. Thoughts, don't think that I've arrived, guys, in none of this. This is a process, and I come to just show you my journey. I got a lot of going to do, and I just like to give back what I'm learning. But one thing I do know, God delivered me from crack cocaine. But it doesn't end there, because if I don't keep this under wraps, Going back is just a byproduct. It's going to happen. So that's why I come and I just try to give you guys what God gives me. That's keeping me. And I can say this. 
if we don't get this, we don't get freedom. So we got to make the choice to know I don't have to be victim to every thought that comes in. I can do something about it. Now, I can't control how other people think about me, but I can do something about thoughts that come in. And I, number two, I have to be so conscious of what am I thinking about? I got to be able to identify negative and toxic thoughts. And I got to put up a whoa, uh-uh. And then I got to get God's word on that negative thought and kick that sucker out of there. And I keep walking on in victory after victory. Guys, this isn't hard. It's just a growing process. It's just the growing process. None of us is getting this overnight, but it's what we have to do. And God is with us every step of the way to help us. So guys, I'm gonna end this video, but remember this, we've got to get control of this. This is where our freedom lies. Amen. So guys, I pray that this has blessed you. <laughs> what are you thinking about right now? <laughs> no, but seriously, guys, if you like this, if this has blessed you, if you've gotten any value from this, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. On the next one. <laughs> Be blessed, guys, and stay motivated, my friends. I'll see you soon.